BlackFacts.com presents. In early mid-19th century, there was a network of secret routes and safe houses established in the U.S. used by enslaved African Americans to escape into free states and Canada. The enslaved who risked escape and those who aided them are also collectively referred to as the Underground Railroad. Road to Freedom At its peak, nearly 1,000 enslaved people per year escaped from slave-holding states using the Underground Railroad. The resulting economic impact was minuscule, but the psychological influence on slaveholders was immense. Due to a very stringent fugitive slave law in 1850, officials of free states were required to assist slave catchers to operate in free states. Slave catchers also kidnapped free blacks, especially children, and sold them into slavery. William Still, sometimes called the father of the Underground Railroad, helped hundreds of enslaved people to escape, sometimes hiding them in his Philadelphia home. He later published these accounts in the book The Underground Railroad. To reduce the risk of infiltration, many people associated with the Underground Railroad knew only their part of the operation and not of the whole scheme. Conductors led or transported the fugitives from station to station. A conductor sometimes pretended to be enslaved in order to enter a plantation, the journey was often considered particularly difficult and dangerous for women or children. Children were sometimes hard to keep quiet or were unable to keep up with a group. Enslaved women were rarely allowed to leave the plantation, making harder for them to escape in the same ways that men could. Some women were successful. Harriet Tubman, c. 1870. A worker on the Underground Railroad, Tubman made 13 trips to the South, helping to free over 70 people. She led people to the Northern Frey States and Canada. This helped Harriet Tubman gain the name, Moses of her people. At least 30,000 enslaved people, and potentially more than 100,000, escaped to Canada via the Underground Railroad. With the outbreak of the Civil War in the U.S., Many black refugees left Canada to enlist in the Union Army, while some later returned to Canada, many remained in the United States. Thousands of others returned to the American South after the war ended. The desire to reconnect with friends and family was strong. And most were hopeful about the changes emancipation and reconstruction would bring. Learn more at blackfacts.com.